Congratulations, Lieutenant, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to yet another episode of Star Trek Online Rise of the Red Shirt. Today, oh, today, we're finally, finally, finally closing the book on the Romulan storyline. For now, with... Wait for it, I remember this one. Cutting the Cord. Uh, cutting the Cord is another mission with a somewhat unique setup in the game. Um, though not quite as unique... It was unique in, in and of the fact that you were, you're going to be on your own, but, uh, spoilers. So let's go ahead and jump into, jumped? Well, past tense jump into cutting the cord. Let's, good God, get this, good God, gravy, get, get this mission done, get the Romulan arc done with, oh my God, this story needs to be over, ah! It's been a long season, folks. I'm a little loopy. I'm going to be covering... I've said it before, a million times, and I'll say it for the millionth and first. I will be covering the second one-year anniversary. Two one-year anniversaries in the same season. Over. It needs to be over. It's very simple. You see? The solution is simple. Kill the Hakiv. Kill the Hakiv and the season and the second season will end. So we're going to do that. I got to kill Hakiv. <laughs> I'm a kill me some Talshia and end the second season and bring peace and justice to the galaxy. Yes! This is a plan! I am proud to be behind. I'm proud to be part of it. Let's go. Cutting the cord. You are on your own to stop a series of events that could lead to a Romulan civil war, which no matter what you do in this mission will happen anyways. Replay. Starfleet Intelligence has completed its analysis of the data you recovered in the Nopata system. There is a 67.47% <clears throat> chance that the Iconians are using the Tal Shiar as a way to influence the Romulan Star Empire, and that their persecution of the Remans is directly related to this. Command is considering lending assistance to Obasek and his forces, but before we come into direct conflict with the Romulans, we want to try a more discreet approach. The data indicates that Hakiv is operating out of the Brea system. Long-range sensor scans indicate that there may be a major Tal Shar installation there. We want you to infiltrate this system, apprehend Hakiv, and destroy the Tal Shar's base. Hakiv must not escape. He may be the only person who knows how extensive the Iconian influence in Romulan space is. And as your reward for this mission, you get the choice of a tractor beam mine launcher, which is oh so nice. Everybody should have one, even if you don't use it, just in case, because who knows what happens out there. You can also get a plasma torpedo launcher, which for the time you're in the game might be appealing if you like plasma torpedoes, but eh, you can pretty much craft better ones. Um, like, like, ugh, just, ugh, like, ugh. Although, if you don't want to spend money or energy credits on uh, crafting, this might be a tempting option for you. Either way, uh, it's certainly sell... And if you're just looking for, like, vendor trash, it's 17,946, which probably means it's worth 2,000. Still more than uh, Tractor B Mime Launcher will give you, so... The Mime Launcher. It launches mimes. Mimes that, like, make a Tractor B motion, and that somehow holds you motionless, because... How do mi mimes, man? Just mimes. They're everywhere. They're evil. You'll see. You all think I'm crazy. <laughs> You're right. But you don't know how much... Where am I even going with this? What has happened to me? How long has this season gone on? And there's a lockbox. You can get the lockbox, but don't. If you get the lockbox, if you take the lockbox, 
<laughs> if you take the lockbox. If you take the lockbox. Okay. Alright. If you take the lockbox, I'm going to come to your home. I'm going to find you where you live. And I'm going to duct tape you to a chair. And I'm going to make you watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles coming out of their shells. And I'm, I'm going to make you watch it. Over and over and over again. Then I'm going to take it out. And when you think, just when you think, that the torture's over, oh no. Oh, it's not over. Because then I'm going to put it back in. And press play. It's going to happen to you if you get that lockbox. Don't get the lockbox. Just get the vendor trash. You will find plenty of lockboxes in this game. Don't get the lockbox. If you get the lockbox, I'm going to come to your house. And I'm going to make you play. I'm going to make you play Neverwinter Nights 2. Okay? Not the Neverwinter Nights. Neverwinter Nights 2. With its really silly and really predictable plot. Okay? You'll get a choice. You'll either have to watch Ninja Turtles coming out of the shells or play Neverwinter Nights 2. I'm a nice guy like that. I'll give you a choice. You won't like either. If you get that lockbox, I'm going to come to your house and I'm going to make you build a module with Neverwinter Nights 2's Obsidian tool set. I'm going to make you build, build something with that thing. And you're like, oh, how could that be terrible? That's, the, the, that's what the Foundry's descended from. No. No, 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 no. The Foundry's descended from the Aurora tool set and Neverwinter Nights 1. I'll make you use the Obsidian tool set from Neverwinter Nights 2. Yes! And you will know Beige. You will know Beige if you use that tool set. You can try and do anything. That tool set. You will know Pain. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, set course for uh, the Brea system. And of course it's not primary, because why would it ever be primary when I just accepted a new mission? Why would it all ever automatically make it primary? It wouldn't. It wouldn't. You're a fool for assuming that it would. Why would you think that? How could you think that? What kind of horrible person would assume that it would make it primary when you take it? I don't know, do you? I couldn't tell you. I think I've lost my mind this season. I may have. This season's gone on long enough. At this point, Sisyphus is just sort of like sitting on a rock. With his head in his hands, shaking his head. Dude, just let it go already. Just stop. The season has gone on forever, and I overshot the Brea system. Hunter, why did you fly too far? Why did you overshoot the Brea system? I just told you to take us there. This isn't like martial arts. You don't punch through the tar You don't punch through the target in space travel. That's a bad idea. You want to stop short of it. Or at least slow down halfway there. You speed up halfway, you slow down the other half, and then you're ready to enter station, a stationary geosynchronous orbit over the place you're going to. Why am I telling you how to fly the ship? Oh. Let's enter the Brea system so I can unload all my crazy on some Tal Shiar. We have arrived in the Brea system. <laughs> Finally. Preliminary scans show automated defenses and a handful of Romulan ships, most likely Tal Shiar vessels. If we're going to reach the planet and beam down safely, we'll have to breach the Romulan defenses. 
The weapon platforms are probably short range, but we must disable the satellites and any enemy ships in orbit or any away team that we send to the planet will be in immediate danger. Tactically, it would be wise to draw off the ships and engage them separately from the fixed defenses. Defeat Romulan orbital satellites and ships. Enemy vessel, you are in Romulan space. Leave immediately or you will be destroyed. Okay. Don't track to me, bro. Enemy reinforcements inbound at high warp. High warp. High warp, how are you doing today? I'm fine, I'm just going insane. Because I've been playing the Romulan arc for a year. I'm going to hack the Gibson and turn your turrets against you. Good lord, you sent birds of prey. Oh look, plasma torpedoes. Whoops! Regretting that choice now, aren't you? We need to get within transporter range of the planet's surface. Fun fact, I was actually trying to record this uh, system in a demo record way back at the beginning of Season 2 um, for the intro credits to Rise of the Red Shirt. This map will not load correctly in the demo uh, player at all. Crashes it. Good times. Long-range scanners show that the Riemann and Romulan vessels are converging on this location. The Walglinde will need to remain ready for action. Sir, I'm picking up an increase in energy use on the planet's surface as well. The Tal Shiar base is mobilizing. We need to hurry if we're going to have any chance to find Hakiv and his Iconian connections. Ready to transport on your orders. Beam down to Tal Shiar base. Notice it didn't ask you for an away team. There is a reason for this. Sir, the Romulans are trying to jam transporters, and there's a lot of particle leakage from the Iconian technology here. I can't identify the types of particles yet, but the rest of the senior staff are reporting in from different locations. Apparently the transporters are being diverted. You're on your own for the moment. Scans show that the parts of the settlement are locked down with force fields. You'll have to disable them or find ways around them. Be ready, sir. Hakiv will be somewhere well defended. Okay, I've got my shepherd-ass shepherd armor out, and I'm ready to go crazy people on some Ic... Well, not some Iconians, but some Iconian brainwashed Tal Shiar. Woo, he flew far! Looks like the Romulans are using force fields and construction supplies to choke off access points. The Tal Shiar must have detected us in orbit and they've put the base on emergency lockdown. Our orbital scans show that a lot of these buildings have catwalks and balconies. You may be able to use those to get over some of the walls and barricades. Some of our tactical teams made it to the surface with beachhead equipment. You may be able to get support from them. Romulan ships will be here soon though, so we'll have to raise the Waglinde's shields and won't be able to use transporters. Good luck, Captain. Aren't you, supposed, aren't you supposed to protect me? This is a security officer. Call for support. So yeah, you can basically storm this place solo. Um, and that's pretty much all this mission's about. 
you basically beam down, you end up, like, landing alone. You can certainly solo this. Um, this was really, this is, was a really awesome mission back before Ground Combat 2.0, when you were basically a walking tank. Um, you were a tank that walks like men, even if you were a woman. Because tanks do not gender discriminate. I don't even know where I'm going with this anymore. That's the first charge, sir. I've downloaded virtual markers to your HUD that will show you where you go, where to go to place additional charges. Fantastic. Let's test that out. That's where this, uh, that's where these lines came from. That's where, that's where they came from. This is the first mission that used them. I do not know where the Lobby Crystal is here. Don't ask. Because I don't know. I know nothing! Hi! Probably be better if I was using my photon grenades. Sir, Romulans are massing reserves in multiple locations around the base. The Moglindi is in synchronous orbit, Captain. We can provide fire support if you supply target coordinates. Well, first I have to wait for squad leader. Excuse me. So, basically, you're going to be calling in orbital strikes from those little uh, Enterprise-looking things over there. Um, you can also give the Remans some help. The Remans are storming this place with you. So, yeah, you basically just beam down here to um, jack up the Tal Shiar stuff. Yeah. So, uh, you can plant a bomb here. You plant bombs everywhere. Because I'm the mad bomber. What bombs at midnight? Uh, there's another catwalk on the other side of this rotunda. Yes, I know I got that reference wrong. Shut up. Who asked you? You're not the only ones who watch the tick. So, yeah. This is pretty cool. You like that one? I got a couple more for you, too. We'll get to those in due time, though. All in due time, yes. All in due time. To the right, ground level. Our scans indicate that the building houses a data facility. There's a scorpion. Come back here, pussy! That's right. We fight like men. That's right. Like a man. Take it like a man. Take it. Take it. Get the fuck back here. Where the hell are you going? No. No! Shit. So if you go over here, you can get an achievable. Apparently not yet, though. There's also an engineering objective here, but I am a tactical and thus do not care for such things. See, read modulate weather, much of call it. Oh look, there's a fire here. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I wonder if I can put out this fire. Let's see. P. Um, fire suppression device. Yoink. Yes! Yes, I have overcome your environmental obstacles with my human brain. So, uh, before Ground Combat 2.0, this was a breeze. Now, after Ground Combat 2.0, it's less of a breeze. 
However, after Ground Combat 2.0 and having all the STF gear, it is once again a breeze. But what would happen is basically you'd be completely overwhelmed by these guys who, even if you spec'd all the way into personal shield generators and had the highest capacity shield in the game, they would bring down your shields in one to two hits. This was bad because there was a bunch of them, and a bunch of them means they can kill you really fast. So, yeah, this mission was a bear for a very long time. It is less so now because I am severely overpowered for this mission, which is the way I fucking like it. I worked hard to be severely overpowered for this mission, and I want to be rewarded for my efforts, damn it. So, uh, you can plant a bomb here. plant that spatial charge by making magical hands in the air and we planted that making magical hands so we will call for support now and I will like start like buffing myself because there's a lot of Tal Shiar here and they're all going to be shooting at me and other people who are not me but they were shooting at me in the beginning so it's a good idea to buff yourself anyways where am I even going clear Scan for Hakiv. Hakiv's in the promenade outside of a building southwest of your location, but you're separated from him by one of those force fields. There's an access gate on the walkway, but you'll need to disable the force field. If you create a massive power draw at one of the other large facilities, it should temporarily disrupt the field. If you get back on the rooftops, it'll give you a better vantage point. Then let's do that then! Virtual guide path isn't showing up to tell me what I should do. This may be a good or a bad thing. Okay. The data center is now drawing emergency power. The force field is compromised. Sir, Hakeem's in a reinforced section of the base. You'll need to ac you'll need an access chip or else the doors won't open. We're reading a forward observer team on the highest building in your area. If you can get the officer's access chip, that should get you into the heart of the base. Okay. You shot at me, so you die. So, uh, killing these guys gets you an achievable called, like, fish in a barrel or something, or what have you. There you go. Shooting that thing is what gets you the achievable. Bastard, I bet that was one of that other fighter's friends. That's what you get for running. I kill your fighter friends. Alright, so where am I going? I'm going this way. After I jump over this thing and put out this fire. It wants me to go up. I remember this much. Hey! I don't know what that was. I think something blew up. I didn't blow it up. I'm gonna blow up this. That was gruesome. Those Romulans died horrible, horrible deaths. Of course, we're going to go kill some more now. And we'll do it with a shotgun. Because shotguns. Shotguns, you know? Calling for support. Hi. Ow. That wasn't actually like rubber banding. That was a high density beam. They're annoying like that. Ow. Fudge, you're fudge. Let's see. Search officer for access chip. I hope you don't mind me looting your corpse as you lie, twitching on the ground, dying, friendless and alone. You should be able to use the officer's ID chip to bypass the security lock on the access gate in front of the central plaza. Akiv is directing defense operations from there. 
from there. From there, he's directing defense operations. And from there, he shall be destroyed for justice. No words. Some of you may be worried about my mental state. Don't. This happens more often than you think. At least I haven't been resolved... At least I haven't resorted to caveman grunts this time. So, so if you're looking for the lobby crystal, I said I didn't know where it was. I lied. I know where it is now. It's in this thing, but I can't get it because I already got it. So it's good. We have a problem up here, Captain. Over the past few minutes, the ship has started to suffer a series of cascading system failures. It's nothing serious yet, but it looks like we're being hit by an Iconian virus. We'll purge the computer memory and restore from archives, but that will take some time and we'll continue to have system problems until the work is complete. Even if it works, Hakiv can simply send another virus our way. You'll need to find and destroy the Iconian transmitter before the Walglindy will be secure, sir. It's not an actual virus. Well, in the context of what's going on now, it probably is a virus. But I'll explain what it is later, because there's about to be lots of Iconian stuff. As much as I would relish the opportunity to explain my strategies, I'm afraid the subtleties would be lost on you. Fuck you too. A lowly being such as yourself cannot even recognize the true power the Iconians represent. And that any future will depend on a place in their regime. Whatever, Saren. As the Borg would state, resistance is futile. I killed Borg as a career. And now I'll call for support. Fight for me, red shirt hordes! Your captain is a paragon of sanity. Battle for him. I can call as many reinforcements as I need. No, you can't. Not now. My ship has put an interference field around this plaza. It's over. I told you. Die, Hakeev. Mess with the best. Die with like, the rest. Die with the rest, too. Shotgun. I'm on green fire! Is this your doing? I hope a sec. You wanna check a Keeve? Hi, Hakeev. Now, you're not gonna mind if I do a Mozambique drill on your ass, are you? Flavor text! Akiv is too badly injured to speak. He struggles only for a moment before he is finally still. His pad is tightly encrypted, but the file that is open references an Iconian gateway only a dozen meters from the very plaza. Akiv's end comes without any desperate speech or furious diatribe. Who is saying these lines? As his plane collapse around him, only silence follows him into oblivion. My god, he's been kidnapped by Daedra. Hakiv has been kidnapped by Mehrun's Dagon. See, there he goes. We'll have to find Mehrun's Dagon and kick his ass, too. I got into a fight with his foot once. I can do it. I turned him into a pile of goo. Hello, Obasak. The road to Riemann independence will be long and bloody, but this is a significant step. While I do not seek your approval of my methods, the crossing of our paths has been fortuitous. It's a pity you cannot aid us further in our liberation. You have my respect, and the respect of my crew. If in the future we encounter one another again as allies, I would find this... gratifying. I must return to the Zedinia. I recommend you finish what you came to do, and leave quickly. Sure. 
We've located the Iconian computer systems. They're in, a, they're in a research room near the courtyard, just back the way you came. I came to blow things up, so... Now that you have Hakiv's pad and his access codes, you can get into these research areas. Hmm. So, science deploys a worm to overwrite the Iconian computer virus. That's lame. We just blow the thing up and let our engineers take care of the job that engineers have to take care of. Musical Sting! The Arch! It's a huge Iconian gate! I had to add a musical sting there, because there was no musical sting. There should have been. Sir, we have your coordinates, but we can't beam you up until the gate is destroyed. We're still getting strange interference. We are prepared to destroy the large Iconian gate with an orbital bombardment. We'll target the war we'll target the warhead yield, but you should get to an area away from the blast. Target the warhead yield. That's some weird ass technobabble. I haven't been in here before. Can I blow this up, too? Apparently not. I must be a science officer to mess with these. Can I sit in these chairs? No, no. I can't sit in the chairs. What is the purpose of a chair if it cannot be sat in? So for some reason there's mist on the ground. I don't know what that's about. But uh, somewhere over here, there is an orbital bombardment icon. And you use the orbital bombardment icon to put out fires. Like Iconian Gates. Not like this fire, which I'm putting out with a uh, fire extinguisher, you see. Although, I think the light's still there. No, it's not. Good. Good, good. Slow motion, stuck on geometry. Jump, jump. All right. You hit it enough. With the gate destroyed, we can get a look and beam you up whenever you're ready, sir. They can get a lock. With the gate destroyed, we can get a lock and beam you up whenever you're ready, sir. The text is small. I adjusted the proportions of the UE to be smaller so it would fit inside of a window. So don't blame me if I can't read it occasionally because the text is really small. Ooh. I collected contraband from crew. Do I have a triple that's going to drink my Romulan ale? No. Beam out. Romulan reinforcements are starting to arrive. We have our work cut out for us. I will assist you. After all, we face common foe. This is crazy. My ship is disabled. You must finish this. I'll use engineering team, Obasak. I can't be the only one in the universe who can do that. Especially since all the NPCs I talk to know about timed hits. This is Empress Sila. Inter interference in Imperial affairs will not be tolerated. Rebels and insurgents will be something. Eliminated. There we go. 
So they didn't have Denise Crosby record VO for all of Sela's lines, because if they had, they would have recorded VO for, like, Sela and this mission as well, because why wouldn't you if you had Denise Crosby right there? Sela fights kinda like Donatra. Yeah. You see, it only works if you point it at me. And it only works if you actually fire it at me. Sensors are reading a gate opening. There's a ship coming through. Can't get a sensor lock on it. They have the label in tow. They're heading back through the gate. We should probably do something to stop them as they slowly kidnap the head of the Romulan government. Slowly and laboriously turning their ship back into the Iconian Gate, where we had plenty of time to interfere. <sighs> Did Sela just escape, or was she kidnapped against her will? Regardless, this gate is, in, is deep in Romulan space. It's too risky to leave it in Romulan control, even with Hakeev and the Empress gone. I know I botched that dialogue, but it's almost over. We're nearly done with the Romulan missions. It has to end. I'm gonna end it now. And I'll end it by attacking the weak points for massive damage. If that was another Iconian gateway, that explains how they moved entire fleets. We have to get out of Romulan space and warn Starfleet Command. The Romulan threat may be over for now, but it looks like a bigger threat is coming on the horizon. He's looming on the horizon. There's a bigger threat looming on the horizon. My mind is just made of fudge. And crap. And tiredness. Depart system. Looming on the horizon. Looming. And what the hell my ship can phase through planets, because the Waglinda is just badass like that, apparently. The Waglinda is like a mazo. The planet was just in its way, so it moved it for a brief second. Just long enough for it to get through and put it back. Ah... Uh... The last, last mission report of the Romulan Ark. Are you ready? This is a big occasion. We, 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 we should wait. We should give this some ceremony. No, we shouldn't. Starfleet will continue the search for Sela's vessel. But as of right now, we have no idea where the Iconians took her, or if she went willingly. I find this turn of events disturbing. Sela's absence will throw the Romulan Star Empire into even greater chaos. We have found that the Romulans are at their most dangerous when their backs are against the wall. Like wounded Salot cats, they will strike out at anyone in reach, and the Federation may bear the brunt of their fury. The return of the Iconians could change everything. She sounds so pissed off when she says everything. Don't get the lockbox, get the vendor trash. This is what I'm going to doing. What I'm going to be doing. The Iconians' presence threatens the Federation. I agree. The Iconians are a cause for concern. Their motives are still unknown to us, as are their plans for the Quadrant. What we do know is that they desire chaos. Many of the problems we currently face can be directly traced back to their machinations. If they had not antagonized the Undine, would we now be at war with the Klingon Empire? That's a spoiler! It may be that they want the powers of the Quadrant so fractured that we will not be able to unite against them. We cannot allow that to happen. This is supposed to be after the Undine missions. Because that only happens in the Undine missions. In the Undine missions, you find evidence that the Iconians antagonized the Undine and provoked them into attacking the galaxy again. At, like... They, it provoked them into thinking that the peace treaty that they forged in Voyager had been violated, and they went ape shit and invaded the galaxy. You find that out in the Undine missions at the end of the game, okay? So this should have been after the Undine missions, because that's the only place where that makes sense. The only.
only one! Because that's that dialogue is set after it. It's supposed to be after it. It's strange and unusual for it to be there and tell you things that you don't know yet, that you shouldn't know because you haven't lived through them yet. So suddenly somebody reads this and they get it spoiled for them. And now they're like, wait, the Iconians antagonize the Undine? When did we find that out? And hours, days later, they play the Undine mission to light in the dark and they find out, oh, that's how. How did I know that back then without knowing that? Who knew that and who told Tanay? How much does Tanay know? Has she been working against us all this time? It's strange and it makes no sense. Which is why these missions should have been at the end of the game. Am I making sense at all anymore? That's it. That's it. That's it. It's done. It's done. It's done, do you hear me? Do you understand? It's done. It's done. The Romulan missions are over. Over! The Romulan arc is over! Yes, Mal Rehan's still out there, but you know what? You know what, brother? Mal Rehan can wait, brother. We can do that at the beginning of the next season, brother. Because some time has passed between Cloaked Intentions and Mal Rehan, brother. Because they said that Mal Rehan only takes place a week after Cloaked Intentions, and I say that that doesn't make any sense at all, dude. So we're gonna do Mal Rehan at the beginning of Season 3, brother. And it's gonna be awesome. But that's the end of the Romulan missions. That's the end of the Romulan arc. The Romulan mystery, as it were, is complete. Fuck! This took forever. But there is one more... One more Rise of the Red Shirt in Season 2. And then I can live. And then I can live. Maybe love. Maybe go outside. <laughs> There's one more. <sighs> but it's awesome. One of the best missions in the game. It needs to stay. It needs to be somewhere. In fact. In fact. If they put this, they need, what they need to do is put Temporal Ambassador and the Odyssey class in the beginning of the Cardassian arc. So by the time you get to the 2800, you know who Sean is, somewhat, and you've seen the Odyssey class in action. They need to put those two missions there at the very beginning, because they are awesome, and they should stay in the game. And to set up things for the 2800. Because with the benefit of the knowledge of both Sean and, and, the Odyssey class. The surprise moment towards the end of Bully They Road will be even more awesome. This has been Cutting the Cord. This has been Rise of the Red Shirt. <sighs> That's been the wrong rum rum I can't speak anymore. The season's taking too long. That's been the Romulan mystery. One more episode left. I'll see you guys later. So later. Roll credits.